Hello, hello, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Wednesday and Thursday. That's Wednesday the 4th and Thursday the 5th of September. So I trust that you're having a great day. An extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. It's lovely to see you all here. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. What I will be doing, if you're new to watching and don't know what this is, what I'm going to be doing is using my combined Animal Kingdom Oracle cards with my Speed of Light oracle and they've been combined to make a 110 card deck and I'll be looking for the best card from this deck for Wednesday, the best card for Thursday and then the best card for the theme for Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm not doing personal reading requests here today, this is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life easily and let the rest go. So you can just think of this as a guide only and let yourself be surprised. Um, I always find it helpful to come to these sorts of things with no expectations but just an openness and willingness to let it flow and let it unfold and trust that we're here for a reason. So it might be to hear one thing, to receive some guidance, to feel the support, to spark our interest in something. There will be a personal reason, no doubt. So let's get started, shall we? I'm looking for the best card for Wednesday, the 4th of September. So Wednesday... The fourth, if it's not quite Wednesday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. So I'm just shuffling the cards, holding my intention to find the best card for Wednesday. And then when I feel that I've shuffled enough, then I split the deck into two and I take the top deck uh, card from the bottom. That's the way I choose my cards, which works for me. So it's a speed of light oracle and it's the lizard. It's a featured card. So that means it has further instructions here, which say to take the third card from the top of the deck. So the third card is this. It's another speed of light and it's the unicorn. Okay, let's put the deck down and look at these cards. So these cards have come up together for a reason and what I'm going to do is look at them individually and then we're going to look at their relationship together. So the lizard, the lizard is card three and it says optimism, appearances, delusion and illusion. So this usually comes up just highlighting that there might be something that's going on that we're very much just looking at the surface with. So for example, if we're looking to buy a car at the moment, we might want to look deeper than what's been presented on the outside. So have a look under the bonnet, get a mechanic to check out the, the, um, the mechanics of the vehicle, for example. So this card usually comes up sort of as a bit of a warning, but more of an alert, just to look a little bit deeper and look a little bit under the surface with something that we're doing. Read the fine print if we're signing something. And it doesn't mean that we shouldn't go ahead. It usually just means that we just need to find a little bit more information. So for, a, for us and those of us who are exploring our self-healing and are committed to that, this card's very much about dropping deeper into ourselves, dropping deeper into our healing cave so that we can heal, so that we can release and move on from things that we're dealing with, issues or wounds and that sort of thing. So there's a, quite a strong letting go, stripping back feeling with this. 
but it's very much focused around um, looking under the surface, below the surface, that's probably better words to use, looking below the surface, read between the lines, look at the fine print, look under the bonnet. So look under what's just been presented to us at face value. And this is connected with the unicorn, which is card 50. And the unicorn says, psychic gifts, spiritual, intuition, and trust. So this on its own talks about an, um, a, a renewed or, um, there's no other word really coming to mind right now, so I'll use renewed, a renewed sense of uh, interest in our spiritual practices, spiritual rituals, or things that we connect with personally on a spiritual level. So if that's us going to church, then that's our spiritual practice. If for you it's um, getting out your oracle cards and doing a reading for yourself, or doing a meditation, or stepping out into nature, or going to a, a psychic class, meditation class, whatever it is that speaks to us spiritually, which I feel is a very personal thing, um, this is a renewed interest in our spiritual interests <laughs> um, at this time, but especially on Wednesday. Now, this is also about um, I'm highlighting here our third eye chakra up here on our forehead in between our eyes. And this is a very strong chakra that usually connects back to trust. And we've been reminded on Wednesday to really trust in our intuition. I mean, we should really be doing that as best as we can always. So not something we just practice spiritually, but something we can bring into our daily life so that we can work with and use our intuition and trust it on a day-to-day -day mundane level, if you like. So when it comes to these two cards together for Wednesday, we're being encouraged to trust our instincts, trust our intuition. If something doesn't appear right or feel right on the exterior in, in regards to what's being presented to us. So if we have a gut feeling that something doesn't feel right about this that's been told to me or this that's been presented to me, then we can trust our gut instinct. So what we want to do with that, that will be up to us. So this is a very instinctual thing it feels like. So we will know what feels right and what resonates or doesn't hopefully, at the time. So this is where trusting our intuition is really important. So we might have a lot of in, intuitive moments throughout our days, but if we're not trusting in those intuitions that we have, then we're not following those. And we're probably not believing in them and their abilities or their uh, support for us on a day-to-day -day level as much as we could be. So very much about trusting in our gut feeling, our gut instincts in regards to something that might not feel quite right on Wednesday. So I trust that makes sense. We'll see how it fits in to our Wednesday. So thank you. I'm now looking for the best card for Thursday, the 5th of September. Thursday the 5th. So again, just shuffling the cards, holding the intention to find the best card for Thursday for the majority of us and split the deck and I'll take the top card, which is an Animal Kingdom Oracle and it's the Cockatoo card 47 and the Cockatoo reminds us to be compromising. So there might be a situation that arises on Thursday that um, might test us or we might feel rebellious by. We might feel that we want to do the opposite uh, with it, but we've been encouraged just to consider, can we reach a compromise? Can we find a common ground between us and someone that we might be disagreeing with? And also, if we turn this back towards ourselves, how can we reach a compromise with, with ourselves? So for example, we might have a ton of things that we have to do physically, but our body might be feeling really lethargic or exhausted and we might not have the energy to do all of these tasks that we have to do unless they're urgent. So we might sort of negotiate and reach a compromise with our body and maybe agree to do an hour on, an hour off, or 
uh, whatever might fit for us and our, our body and how we feel. So that's just an example of sort of what I'm talking about here is finding a compromise with ourselves, but we may also find in our interactions with others that a compromise might be consider uh, worth considering. Um, so see how it feels to us at the time. So interesting, that's the cockatoo for Thursday. So these already the energy that's coming up with these cards feel very individual or um, uh, interactive, you know, like um, the, our interactions with other people, our interactions with ourselves. So I find that interesting. Let's see what our theme card is for Wednesday and Thursday. So the theme card will help us bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Wednesday and Thursday. So the theme card is this. It's a Speed of Light Oracle and it's floating card 12. It says spontaneous calling, mental break, and escape. So this is very much about considering or even uh, implementing um, taking a mental break over Wednesday and Thursday. So if something's been um, creating or generating pressure in us recently, we might find that over Tuesday and Wednesday that we decide that we've got to take a break or we need um, some time, maybe a weekend away or a day doing something that we might not book until next week or next month or whenever we can fit it in. Or we might find that we can take a little bit of a break over Tuesday and Wednesday. So the point of this break is so that we can step away from the problem or step away from the stuff that we're dealing with or the stuff that's weighing us down or just the everyday atmosphere that we're dealing with that we're feeling pressured by at the moment. When we take a break and let ourselves step away, even just... For a short amount of time, it doesn't have to be a long time. Um, it could be a bit of a break, you know, a couple of weeks or something, but it could be a short term, maybe half an hour, an hour of just a brisk walk into nature or through the park, something that just takes us away from our everyday setting. And the point of it is, is so that we can come back with a new perspective. So this is about a perspective shift. Because sometimes when we're dealing with the same pressures in the same situations, sometimes they seem like a bigger deal or more of a problem than what they other at other times seem like. So we might find there's something that we've been dealing with quite fine um, for months or years. And we might find this week that we just seem to be irritated by it. It seems to be adding a pressure and an annoyance in us. So if that's the case... Let's consider how or what we can do and what we can fit into our schedule that will give us a break, just a short break or whatever length of break that works for our schedule. And the point is, is to change our perspective. So by stepping out and seeing a different landscape, a different viewpoint, um, talking with different people or we happen to meet someone at this place we go to. It's about a shift in perspective so we can come back refreshed, come back to that situation we've been feeling pressured by um, with a different viewpoint and maybe set some new boundaries. Put some requests out there and say, look, I can't keep doing this on my own or I can't keep doing this specific task. It's just too much. I need help or whatever. Maybe create some boundaries, set some um, almost rules up to say that, you know, this is, I'm not going to accept this any longer. I need it to uh, be a bit lighter for me or something like that. So a perspective shift, taking a mental break. That's our theme card for Wednesday and Thursday. So I trust it resonates and makes sense for you and supports your Wednesday and Thursday. If it doesn't support it, if none of this made any sense, that's okay. Maybe if you come back again next time, it might fit in a bit better for you. If something made sense, that's great. Just put all the rest aside. And if it just seemed like I was talking directly to you and it fits with stuff that's going on in your life that I have no idea about, then you can own that information and use it now 
to help you in your everyday life. So I trust that you take on board what has felt right and you can use that. So thanks for joining me today. I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards combined with my Animal Kingdom Oracle. Uh, these have been created by me and you can find out more about them on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So thank you so much. So we have, or today, earlier, a few hours ago, about eight hours or something ago, I opened up my mini soul reading sale, which I do once every year or two. So the last one of these I did was last December in 2018. And this will be the only one that I do this year. And I may do another one next year. I don't know. So it's usually every 10 or 12 or, or 18 months that this comes up. So at the moment, I have mini soul readings available. Um, they're audio recorded and it's about a three month forecast. Um, I don't take questions, so I'm not a, a person when I do readings, I don't take questions because I find it tends to block, you know, um, what you need to hear rather than what you want to hear. So it's very much just total messages from your soul or from your energy as I pick it up. So that's happening now until sold out or it ends on Monday, I think it's Monday the 15th of September and all readings will be done by the 20th. So I think there's still about 40 or something left um, if you want to grab um, a mini soul reading for yourself. If you miss out, I'm not taking any back orders. This is just a rare opportunity that happens once a year. So if you're interested, please have a look on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Look up the store tab and you can either go to the sale page or the supportive services and you will find mini soul reading limited sale or something so have a look if you're inspired to and if you are inspired to i look forward to connecting with you i'll be starting those next week so i've got patron things to fulfill first um, so i'll be connecting with patrons probably friday or monday or both i'll probably spread it out so you'll hear from me soon too so I've also got a couple of drawings to do this week. So you'll probably see me about a few times tomorrow on my Facebook page uh, doing some drawings and finishing those off um, as a live stream. So that will likely be tomorrow, maybe one on Friday, but I'll see how I go. So thanks so much for connecting and thanks so much for your support. Um, also the big news um, with my kiln, if you've been following my ceramics journey since my workshop burned down in March this year, March 2019. Um, and then I decided to upgrade my ceramics and go from earthenware, terracotta kind of uh, items to porcelain and stonewell, stoneware. Um, I've been upgrading my kiln and started the rebuilding for the last six months. And I finally got one quote in from an electrician and I've got a couple more coming. Uh, so I hopefully have electrician work starting in the next couple of weeks. So fingers crossed, I'll be firing up my kiln soon. So thanks so much for your support because without your support, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. You have a great couple of days and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. So sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Namaste.